Welcome to cryptography class. Today I am going to explain the problem for solving elliptic curve cryptography notations. So the problem is apply elliptic curve cryptography algorithm for finding the ciphertext value. Then they will give the points let E11 of 1 comma 1 with uh, the base point G is 4 comma 2 and the private key values are NA equal to 1, NB equal to 2 and the plain text message PM is 4. So we are in need to calculate public key PA, PB, session key K and the ciphertext value CM. So let us take the elliptic of cryptography algorithm. So uh, this is the algorithm. So they will give EQ of A comma B base point value NA and NB. For calculation of PA, PA is equal to NA into G, PB is equal to NB into G. So, I am taking the first one. So, NA into G, here NA is 1, G means it is a point value, so 4, 2. So, 1 of 4, 2 means if you multiply 1 of 4, 2, it is 4, 2. So, PA value is 4, 2. And PB means the NB into G. So, NB means 2, G means 4, 2. It is a base point value. So, 2 of uh, 4, 2 means what? So, if you take, let us take uh, PQ or 2 points. If R is equal to 2P means we are writing it as P plus P. So, by applying the same formula, 2 of P can be written as P plus P. So, 4, 2 plus 4, 2. So, I already gave the explanation for doing addition operations of two points. If two points are equal, for finding the slope value, m is equal to, the formula is m is equal to 3x1 squared plus a by 2y1. Here, x1 is 4, y1 is 2. And how can we find out a value? It is an elliptic curve. So, the generalized format is, it is E, P of A, comma B. So, by applying that, the A value will be taken as 1. So, you substitute these values here. So, X1 is 4, Y1 is 2, A is B. So, you substitute those values. So, 3 into 4, 12 plus 1, 13. 13 divided by 4. So, M is equal to... 13 divided by 4 mod the resultant value should be 1. So, we can rewritten as 13 into 4 inverse mod 11. So, 13 mod 11 is 2. 4 inverse means the multiplicative inverse of 4 in 11 is 3. So, 2 into 3 6, 6 mod 11 is uh, 6 mod 11 is 6. So, the slope value m is 6. So, after finding slope value, you substituted it x3, y3 calculation. The formula is x3 equal to m squared minus x1 minus x2. Here x1, x2 values are same. So, you substitute those values and you do modulus operation mod of 11 and you may able to find out x3 value. The formula for y3 is y3 is equal to m of x1 minus x3 minus y1. So, you substitute those values and you do modulus operation and we try to find out x3 value. So, that is the points for PB. So, in this way, we can do to calculate PB value. So, this is the steps. So, the first point is over. Then, for finding session key, the formula is KA. So, at user A and user B, you should calculate those two values and you should verify whether those two points are same. Here, PA and PB are given two points. So, K is equal to NA into PB, KB is equal to NB into PA. So, NA is 1. So, the PB value will be taken as KA and NB means 2. So, 2 of 4 comma 2. The same PB value will be occurred. So, KA and KBs are equal. So, you just write KA and KB is nothing but your PB value. So, you just check it out. 
So that PB value will be taken as secret key K. And for cyphertext calculation, CM is equal to uh, K into G. So your K value is either PA or PB value. G means the given point 4, 2. So this is the normal operations, comma PM. PM is 4 plus your K value and PB value. PB is point. K is also some point value. So in this way we should do the ciphertext notation. So you only write the points here. So this is the CM value. So in this way we may able to apply uh, ECC algorithm for finding the ciphertext calculations. And if you compare the uh, key size of ECC with other algorithms. So here um, RSA, public key crypto system is given and symmetric key crypto system is also given. So if the key size is from 1 to 16, then uh, bits representations are for ECC is only 163. But if you go for RSA, it is the maximum size. So if you are using RSA algorithm, the number of bits are more compared to ECC. So if the RSA key size is 372 for implementing a basic 128-bit key size, its equivalent ECC values are 256. So for what purpose we should go for RSA means for increasing the length of key, uh, it is impractical to do an RSA algorithm for 3072 bits. So for that purpose we may choose ECC algorithm. So this is the comparison of key size of various algorithms. So three different algorithms are available at an asymmetric side, Diffie-Hellman, RSA and elliptic curve cryptography. In a symmetric key exchange, either uh, we may take uh, DES or RS, AES algorithm. So the bits are given from minimum 80 to 256. For AES algorithm, uh, 128 or 192 or 256 keys are used. In a DES, we are using only 64-bit key. So, according to key size, RSA size number of bits are 1024. ECC bits are minimum from 160 to 223. If you do Diffie-Hellman uh, key exchange algorithm, the number of blocks would be 160 bits and a block value should be 1024. So here L is the public key value and N is represented for a private key value. So compared to Diffie-Hellman and RSA, ECC only take the minimum number of bits calculations for implementing public key crypto system. And applications of ECC means if you take the device as very small and it will have only the limited uh, storage purpose and the limited power supply, then we may easily implement ECC algorithm. So the best known applications of ECC are wireless communication devices. In smart cards, we may easily implement an ECE. And if a web server is in need to handle different encryption session, then we may implement ECC algorithm. And any application in which security is needed but the power supply, storage and the computational uh, powers are very minimum means, then we may able to choose ECC algorithm. So, this is the overview of unit 3. I hope that you understand these asymmetric algorithms and the problems with these videos uh, in a better way. Thank you.